What's up, guys? Wes Mitchell back here on the Gamecock Central YouTube for another film breakdown slash highlight reaction. And today we're going to be looking at the highlights of brand new Gamecocks commitment, Caleb Juju McDowell. Uh, Caleb is a three star running back from Leesville, Georgia. It goes to Lee County High School, which uh, some of you will remember was also the high school of current Gamecock rising sophomore uh, Jamie Robson. So uh, he committed to South Carolina, Caleb did, earlier this week, uh, chose the Gamecocks over NC State and a number of other schools, and uh, is someone that, from everything we've heard, South Carolina is very high on and, and can really sort of fulfill a, a playmaker role for the Gamecocks and is someone that I, uh, I think sort of fits what we've seen them looking for, and, and that's guys who uh, have some speed, have playmaking ability, and uh, can really score it at any point that they, you know, touch the football. Caleb uh, currently listed 5'10", 170 pounds, obviously class of 2021. And I, I believe from what I've heard, he's actually about 5'10", 175. A, a compact kid, a hard worker. Like I said, he's got some speed. We'll, we'll turn on the tape in a second. But first, I wanted to start with the fact that this is a kid that at 5'10", 175 pounds, is has a bench press max of 350 pounds, has a squat max of 600 pounds. As you're gonna see right here. And um, just uh, to, to have that type of power at, at that size, first of all, you got just a lot of natural God-given uh, ability there to be able to produce that type of power. But, but obviously, any, anybody that's squatting 600 pounds, man, that has worked really, really hard in the weight room. So uh, you're getting a kid that's a hard worker. You're getting a kid that, by all intents and purposes, is a good kid. And and as you we're going to see right now, has has really a lot of qualities that you like. Uh, the first thing, like I said, he, he's a playmaker. Explosiveness. Uh, I think the uh, short area quickness, the ability to get from zero to full speed in a hurry, is probably the thing that stands out to me the most about him. Uh, here you see him in, in the punt return game, and I, I think really for South Carolina, he, he's going to play any number of positions or any number of roles, really. I, I mean, I, I think he's a running back position-wise. That part is pretty clear. But as far as the role that he will play at South Carolina, I, I think you'll see him line up in the backfield as a traditional running back. You'll see him line up spread out in the slot some, doing some jet sweep type stuff on the edge, as you see right here. And then certainly will have every chance to play kickoff returner or punt returner, uh, you know, and, and help the Gamecocks out there. Here you see, again, just explosiveness, getting to getting to from zero to 60 in a hurry and, uh, and, and scoring a touchdown here. And I, I tell you, the, the thing is, maybe not quite as well known as a running back because he was kind of forced into action on defense this past year. Uh, I think his team had a, a bigger need on defense this last season. They had some some veteran guys, from what I was told, on the offensive side who could help sort of carry the load. Obviously, you see from these these highlights, he, he did still play quite a bit of offense as well. But you're going to see him take on a much bigger load uh, offensively for his team this coming year, and I, I think you're going to see the numbers go way up. But hey, we, we can learn something from watching him play defense as well, guys. I think the first thing, the, the word that was brought up to me by a couple people I've talked to was toughness, and I think when you watch these clips, you, you see that. Again, 5'10", 175, but plays bigger than that. You see him on offense, or excuse me, you see him on defense, uh, delivering hits, rallying to the football, and, and that increases your, I think, your, your value as a prospect and increases your, your rating, your ranking, really, if you can do multiple things. So if it, for whatever reason, didn't work out on offense, I think there's always a chance that he could help out potentially at safety or nickel at the next level. But, again, like I said, playing offense, putting the football in his hands. Um, here, you, here you see the toughness, um, nice little spin move, gets away, gets through the trash and just explodes out of there uh, for the touchdown. The, the kid, kid's a playmaker. And I, I think, you know, we, we've talked about Sam Reynolds and how South Carolina sort of has him as a receiver but wants to use him all over. I think in the case of McDowell, they have him as a running back, but they want to use him in multiple ways as well. Catches the football out of the backfield. You see him here on the wheel route. 
And there's a play later on where you're going to see him make an adjustment and uh, make just a, a leaping sort of almost diving catch that I think really shows off the ball skills and, and what he's capable of. And just, you know, the, the entire highlight here is him making big plays and him uh, sort of exploding for, for long touchdown runs. And I think, again, the, the quickness and just, uh, you know, getting from – an area where you see the hole, good vision, and then you see actually some some nice lateral quickness there as well. But seeing the hole and then hitting it hard and then um, making something happen is what you're going to see. From from everything I've heard, I think this is the – yeah, this is the catch I was talking about. Um, you know, it's comfortable down the field. Uh, just – I mean, it, you'd, you'd be amazed or you'd be impressed, I should say, if a receiver makes that catch. So certainly when someone – that as a running back makes a play like that, uh, it stands out to me. And I, I think um, I really like the comparison I was told. Uh, Naheem Hines, who played at NC State under Des Kitchings, you know, Naheem was like a four-star guy, uh, a 5.8 four-star on the rival scale. So a little bit more highly rated right now than what you see on uh, Caleb Juju McDowell's profile. But – there are some really strong comparisons there, and I think there's some strong comparisons. You look, NC State ran a little bit more of a pro-style offense than a lot of schools do. But you see them making another special teams play. And obviously, South Carolina under Mike Bobo, there's going to still be some spread elements, but a little bit more pro-style than we're used to, to South Carolina, uh, you know, being in the last – really, I mean, for, for as long as I can remember now, they, they've been more of a, of a spread team. So – some pro style elements, but we saw NC State use Naheem Hines all around, even though they were a pro style team. And I, I think you look at McDowell as a kid who, who's going to be able to, to do those things, and, and South Carolina will, will likely look to, to use him in that way. So, uh, to, to recap explosiveness, speed, some lateral quickness, versatility, toughness, and ball skills those are the areas that I really think Caleb McDowell excels in and I think that will get him on the field at South Carolina and by all by everything I've heard a great kid as well a hard worker which if you're going to play in college man you've got to you got to be a grinder you got to be able to work you got to be in the weight room and you got to love that part of it so when you hear that to me that that's a big part of the evaluation process as well so good get for a game for the Gamecocks again he's a three-star guy want to thank as always the video is there from huddle huddle huddle.com they of course have everything, um, all the film. It used to be on YouTube or on DVDs and stuff like that, but uh, pretty much all the, the highlights we look at now is on Huddle. So uh, thanks to Huddle for the film there, and uh, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Wes Mitchell. If you're not a subscriber here on our YouTube, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Help push us. We just hit 3,000. Help push us up to 3,500. We did a, a YouTube Live as we do every week. Again, this week we gave away – a subscription to Gamecock Central, and we want to do that again. So help help me push those numbers up. Of course, it's free. We'll continue to have daily content on here and, of course, um, on GamecockCentral.com. So appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.